So this is the story as I understand it. Because there are so many members of Epic, I really cannot go and talk to Lore, Hot Derg, or Coop like I would want to. And so this is kind of the story as I understand it, having been passed down from Guardian to Guardian. So Lore and Coop, Coop81 to be exact, had been best friends and, and best friend guardians for a while, and they had gone up against everything the darkness had to offer. Um, they knew that they could destroy all sorts of hive, vex, cabal, fallen even, and they were not afraid to take vanguard bounties and go destroy the enemy as, as the vanguard saw fit. So on this particular day, they were going into the Hellmouth like they had done maybe half a dozen times or more before. They knew that there were knights and acolytes down in the Hive Sword Room, and they had no problem going in there to kill him again. But this time, they had a special mission. The Hive had started to create something that they needed to go take down. They had no idea what it was, but they needed to go down into the Hellmouth further than they had ever been and destroy this new Hive creation that the Vanguard had just heard some light chatter about, and they just needed to take it down before it got to be a big problem. So as they start to go down into the Hellmouth, they realize that this time it's slightly different. There's a little bit of more enemies in the entrance, which are no problem for them. They take them down. Then they head into the Knight Sword Chamber and realize that the Acolytes and Knights are not there. The only thing there, the door that normally is open, is locked before them. Lord's Ghost goes up to it and realizes there are three encrypted locks that he has to break through before they can get on the other side. As they're sitting there, uh, a scream rattles out and wizards start pouring out of the doors that normally only contain knights. These wizards are more heavily shielded than ever before, are bigger, bulkier, meaner, and they run for cover. The hive are so fierce that they are pushed to the entrance of the knight's chamber. Now, normally this is not a big deal, they can run away, regroup and come back, but the hive had started to fill up the entrance area again and there were so many enemies there that they were stuck in this tiny little area in the entrance to the knight's chamber and they were just kind of worried they didn't know what was happening so one of them decided to pull out the thunderlord and give it a go they said man the thunderlord is a good weapon and it should be able to tear through these wizards which they were right they tore through one or two wizards until another wizard came around the corner and blasted them to pieces i don't know which one it was but uh, as one of the ghosts tried to revive them uh, they uh, started being pushed back further and further until they were in a small little space and could not move. They were fearing for themselves. They did not know if they were going to have the light to get out of the situation, the light to keep reviving themselves. As the enemies got fiercer and fiercer, and as the situation got bleaker and bleaker, they heard an explosion in the distance. Uh, they heard two explosions in the distance. They weren't sure what it was. All of a sudden, uh, as legend goes, the hunter that was before them this cape was billowing in the non-existent wind of the moon. That's what they say, so it must be true. But Hot Dark Fingers was standing there in the entrance to the Hellmouth with a hand cannon and something that was only legend and lore part of the planet itself. For whatever reason, Hot Dark had the fable to Galahorn. Lauren Coop had only ever heard of this gun. They didn't even know it was real. What the exotic rocket launcher called the Gallahorn was hers. As she rounded the corner into the knight's chamber, she let off a round. It exploded, but instead of one explosion, there were two, with lots of miniature rockets encircling the wizards, melting them. In all accounts, Lauren Coop were so mystified that they did not even shoot another enemy and let Hot Dirt clear the room. As they watched this majestic hunter do her work, they realized that being a titan warlock, they really needed a hunter in their mix, and that this hunter was probably one worth following. This hunter had been given the bounty as well, and she knew that there were others that would need her help, so she decided to head straight away to the Hellmouth to assist any who had the bounty themselves. After the ghost opened the door, they were able to follow down, and following the Gallowhorn and following this newfound friend, they gained the confidence to defeat the hive monstrosity inside the summoning pits. After that, they decided to found the Guardian Clan, Clan Epic. Um, so, you know, some of this may be slightly exaggerated. This is how I understand the founding of Clan Epic, but 
two guardians entered the Hellmouth that day, and from the summoning pits rose Clan Epic.